In a previous video, you stated one of your 2019 goals was to build your team up. How is this developing at Noon? The team is growing really every sort of month now. Um, so we're in March and I am taking on a new interior designer called Alicia. She's going to be starting on Monday and basically Alicia, she's got lots of experience in interior design. She used to be based in Dubai. She's originally from Pakistan. She's got a wicked, lovely personality and uh, she sort of won me over on her enthusiasm, her drive, because she's come from Dubai to the UK. She knows no one and um, she's been sort of messaging me a lot on Instagram, trying to set up a meeting to come see me. And, um, you know, I try and see as many people as possible because you don't know what these people can bring to the table. They may just be looking for a lucky break. And um, she got a lucky break yesterday because her personality is awesome. And I think she's gonna be a really good asset to the team. So she's a trained interior designer and she can use all the computer programs like SketchUp and I don't know, Adobe Pro or whatever they use. And also she can, she can work with me um, packaging projects up, working with the clients, producing scope of works, even she can project manage, manage, manage uh, uh, sites. So yeah, she is gonna be really, really good and I'm really excited, I'm really happy for her because um, everyone needs a lucky break and uh, I think she's got one. So yeah, the team is built coming along nicely and next week we have Luisa starting. She is a graphic designer so we are going to be branding up t-shirts hoodies baseball caps all sorts of things uh, and it's going to be branded up new but with entrepreneurial motivational inspirational cool graphics on the t-shirts um, I guess it may be sort of standard sort of our, our black colour, um, black and grey. Um, but we're going to be using uh, Shopify um, with lead generation from Facebook and Instagram ads. So yeah, so I'm not going to you know I can't you know I'm not going to sell loads of it because you know it's going to be quite small, but it's, it's brand awareness. And you know, I guess I'll give a few baseball caps and t-shirts away uh, to influencers on Instagram, Facebook, so they can do their selfies and you know, we can get some collaborations going. But I'm not interested in crappy t-shirts and shitty baseball caps. I want really very, very high quality t-shirts and hoodies with great slogans, stuff which I wanna wear. You know, so if it's crap, I'm not interested. Um, so, so Luis is going to be helping us do the creative for that. So, that looks pretty promising. And, um, let's just have the, the phone going through to my computer. Um, so yeah, we're growing, we're growing, you know, gradually, you know, taking on maybe one a month on average. Um, yeah, so the team's growing nicely and um, obviously I can't do everything myself and I've got to pass on my knowledge to everyone I bring on board because it makes, you know, it times the hours I can work by three or four or five people. So we can really produce a hell of a lot more content for every single platform. So our brand awareness in 2019 should be 10x, 10 times as much as it has been. Are there any particular expansions that you're looking forward to exploring? Yeah, so we're looking to um, 
expand our flows of income, i.e. apparel, looking into sash windows. So I had a meeting uh, yesterday with a manufacturer of wooden sash windows. Um, and obviously all of our projects, most of the projects, every you know, the clients replace their sash windows and sash windows can be expensive. So for a normal sash window, you're talking about a thousand pounds a window on average, uh, a bay window could be 1500 to 2000 pound. So we want to control as much as possible. Um, so wooden sash windows will be a good revenue stream for us um, to, to sell to our clients. So basically in the corner of the showroom by the door, I want to have a little display. So not like a, a sash window leaned against the wall. I want to build a fake exterior of a house with a sash window built into it. So painted, rendered. So the sash window can open and close so the clients can come in and have a look and but the other side of the sash window i want a sort of backlit street scene or window scene or skylight scene skylight scene so when someone drives by they can see a nice display in the window so i'm definitely going to be doing that hopefully they're going to be setting it up within the next sort of month or so the display so windows apparel kitchens with Nobilia, so collaborating with Marco, who's got the uh, license to sell uh, Nobilia in the UK. They will be um, supplying and fitting our branded kitchens to our clients. So there's, I think there's 10 kitchens in the range. And uh, so, and the starting point, the price point is not expensive. You know, these are these are these are high quality, high end kitchens, but at really affordable prices. And we're not looking to bung on huge amounts of margin. We just want to we just want to control the sale because usually the client goes to their local Fulham kitchen designing company, and they're going to be talked into spending thirty to forty k. That's a ridiculous price. So for the same for the same service and quality, we can deliver sort of a, a mass-produced kitchen, handmade in Germany, but maybe for ten to fifteen grand, maybe twenty grand fitted max. So we're going to be doing the kitchens, and uh, I think our kit, our showroom, is being fitted out um, next month. The kitchen's been ordered and we are going to be converting half of our uh, studio in uh, Fulham into a really cool high spec kitchen with LED lighting and beauty. So it would be really lovely. So when someone drives by again, they can look in the window, they can see a lovely kitchen all, all lit up nicely. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, we can make some sales off the back of that. And uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm sure there's other things. What is it? Do you want to mention Hayley Hunt? Oh, Hayley, Hayley Hunt. So Hayley is, uh, um, she owns an estate agency in Chigwell and uh, very successful. She's got a wicked personality um, and she's very well known in Chigwell. And basically she, her clients are Celebrities, you know, like Towie casts, professional footballers. Um, she's got um, beautiful properties in Chigwell, and uh, basically, she wants to team up with us to offer our bespoke designer build services to her clients. So fantastic! So if we can get a client like a professional footballer or a celebrity. It's a bonus, isn't it? Because we can do a good job, we can get some PR, we can get some press, we can get some selfies, we can get some Instagram traffic, Facebook traffic, all off the back of our services to these people. So yeah, that's our new collaboration with Hayley, which is gonna be exciting. And um, yeah, so we've got some 
obviously now that's going to be that's going to be over Essex. We are going to be teaming up with a number of trusted subcontractors because my team are over here. I need to build up another team over there. So if any any contractor out there and they're based in Essex and they want to get in contact with me, um, email Nick at nuprojects.co and I'll set up a meeting and you can come into my office in Fulham to show me um, what you've been up to and to uh, you know, have a talk about some collaboration. So, yeah, I think that's, a, is that it? I can't think. I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so lots going on, lots of new revenues we want to work on because you, you can't rely on just one um, and yeah, and there's, there's other things I, I do apart outside uh, construction. I'm looking at another hotel deal to try and package it up, but there's loads of little things, lots of little, I like getting my, I like to get stuck into like deals where it may never happen, but it's like a lottery ticket. If you, if you don't dabble in dream deals, someone else will, and if it comes off, they win. If I'm doing it, I've got a chance. It may be one in a thousand, one in two thousand, one in ten thousand. But, you know, um, one of these dreams may happen and we may land a big uh, real estate transaction, which then we have huge fees and maybe we can be a part of that and uh, do the design and build. So, yeah, lots going on, lots of exciting things going on for the land of new. To someone coming into new now, yeah, how do these extra services or extra, um, you know, like the, the kitchens, the windows, why wouldn't they do that separately? Um, it's if if because it's controlling everything. So, um, like I said, if if a client is dealing with the kitchens itself it's stressful they may like go into the kitchen showroom and have a look, look around open the drawers touching it but it's they're going to be charged a lot more money for that service so it's it's beneficial for us as we're a design and build company to offer a turnkey solution so uh, that they come to us they sit down with Susanna or Aisha right and they design their dream home and then they go on a shopping list uh, shopping trip to deliver their uh, their items they've been looking for. So it's zero hassle. Windows as well, you know. It's just the client won't, the client probably wouldn't even go looking for a sash window company because it's hassle. They're coming to us to deliver them their quality home, you know, with 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 first class uh, materials and uh, services. Um, and also, well, the apparel, the extra uh, revenues on the air apparel, that's just brand awareness and marketing and PR. So that's not really gonna benefit anyone apart from us, branding. So yeah, so if you do support new, watch out because there's gonna be some uh, apparel you can buy and you can do your selfies and wear your baseball caps and that'd be amazing. 